day, friends. Welcome back to the channel, man. I'm stoked to see you. Today, we got the top 10 items that are probably not in your rucksack that should be. Hang on tight. All right, friends, so here we go, right? We got the top 10 items. Now, I'm gonna deliver five of the 10 and maybe even a couple bonus points because if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. <laughs> and my brother, Randall, over at Grunt Proof is gonna deliver the other five. So I'm gonna drop a link up here, a card up here. I'm gonna have some links down in the description. I'll have a card all the way down at the end of the video for you to be able to go check out his top five of the top 10 items that are not in your rucksack that should be. Make sure when you go to Grunt Proof and you check out his channel, if you haven't already done so, man, subscribe to it because he's got some great content that I'm sure is gonna resonate with you. And when you watch this particular video, make sure you leave a comment and tell him it's still too. So truth be told, man, there are a dozen kajillion videos out there telling us what we should be taking when we're going out to the field and what we should not be taking and all the other things, man. And I think if we took all these things that everybody told us what to take to the field, man, our rucksack, it would just weigh us down, right? I mean, we can't take all the stuff, right? So the situation is gonna dictate the mission planning, the process that you go through is gonna help dictate. But these are some items that I think that if you're not taking them, you need to consider taking them out to the field. Leave some comments down below about what some of the items that you take that others may or may not be taking that we should be adding into consideration for putting in our rucksack. Let's get to this. All right, so we got our old Alice pack that has certainly seen some better days. We'll get this dude opened up and we'll take a look at what we got inside here. Now the very first item I'm gonna pull out is gonna be the jet boil. Now I don't care whether you're using a jet boil, whether you're using a pocket rocket, whatever it is that you wanna put in your kit bag, these things can be life changing when you're out in the field. Having the ability to, to heat up some water, do a little cooking, make some fresh coffee, right? All kinds of good stuff here. And uh, what we're gonna do is we going through the rest of this, we're gonna boil some water, make some coffee. All kinds of options that you can do with this thing. And the, uh, this jet boil has to be the fastest process to boil water. And you get little attachments on here to put a pan on it, so that's cool. And it has its own, you know, igniter which can be handy. I'm gonna let that dude just boil up. We'll see how long that thing takes, right? So next up, and these are in no particular order, right? No particular order. Uh, it's a pair of socks in a Ziploc bag. And I can't tell you how many times that my butt has been saved by having a fresh pair of clean socks when you're out in the field to be able to put on your feet. Man, you go through some water fording, you're just rucking around and your feet are sweating. Man, having a pair of clean, fresh, dry socks, maybe a little foot powder, is life changing. We spend too far too much time on our feet not to take care of them, right? Not to take care of them. So that's item number two. Before we get to number three, man, if you haven't already done so and you want to stay up to date on some future content, and make sure you smash that subscribe button, click the notification bell, be able to stay up to date on some future content. So moving into number three is the bag of baby wipes, man. Life changing, being able to take care of some basic hygiene items, right? Hitting all the hot spots. When you're off in the woods and you, you maybe you don't have any facilities that, that's running around out there with you and that water's already boiling, right? So being able to take care of a quick mess and, you know, just take care of yourself, man. Hygiene is super important, man. And a lot of times we overlook just being able to, to wash our butts, wash our feet, our pits, everything else, right? So baby wipes, man, is a go-to. Uh, toilet paper, for probably for everybody who's been in the field, uh, spending any time out under the stars. So, you know, you gotta have some, right? All right, so next up, uh, kind of goes along with an earlier item take care of our feet and that's some moleskin. Man, this stuff is life changing, man. You're gonna get hot spots when you're out in the field and you're rucking, right? Your, your feet, I don't care how well everything works, man. If you go out and you're, and you're put, you know, 25 mile uh, 
road march on, up underneath your belt, man, odds are you're going to get a blister. So you need to make sure that you take care of your feet, take care of, uh, of your battle buddy's feet. You know, have some, man. This stuff costs next to nothing. But if you do get a hot spot, if you do get a blister, man, this second skin right here, you put it right on and you keep on trucking, man. No big deal. All right, and so last up on my list is the Whoopi. Man, this thing is, she's been with me through some, some pretty rough times, right? But the greatest thing about a Whoopi is it does a couple things, right? One, not only does it keep you company when you're off and, and you're sad and lonely, it's like your Linus uh, uh, safety blanket or whatever, right? Uh, but, you know, it'll turn a two-season sleeping bag into a three-season sleeping bag. It'll turn a three-season sleeping bag into a four-season sleeping bag. You wrap this up with nothing but your poncho, and now you have a great one to two season bag all by itself, and it's waterproof, right? Super easy to pack. It's easy to stuff into places when you don't think that you have enough room. You can always find room to stuff in a poncho liner. And if you have it and it's too hot, then all you gotta do is just ball it up, and now you got a pillow, right? Come on now, this thing is awesome. And so on that note, I do have a six item for you, and uh, it's some hand warmers, right? Just some basic old hand warmers. Uh, these things are, are cheap dime a dozen, 10 hour heat, these things say. Now I know a lot of times, uh, you know, we buy these things maybe to, to take care of our hands and to keep our hands warm. But, and I know we're kind of moving into spring and the summertime, but in the wintertime, man, take a couple of these out and throw them into your sleeping bag down at your feet. You want some warm feet? That'll take care of you. <laughs> All right, friends, so there you go, man. There's Stoker's five and actually six of the top 10 or 11, but who's counting uh, items that are not currently in your rucksack that should be there for the next time that you go out to the woods. Let me know what you think about the content of this video. Add some of your own content items down below in the remarks. That way we can continue to keep this conversation rolling so we can master our craft and develop our tactical virtue. Again, man, make sure you go and you check out Randall's uh, channel at Grunt Proof. Make sure you subscribe to it. Make sure you leave some comments on his one as well. Let us know who did a better job as far as what items that you want to add in to your kit bag. Man, I appreciate all you guys, man. You stay out there and you stay stoked.